All right, all right. How's it going? Beautiful Facebook people. I was going to start drawing this. I was going to start, you know, I started drawing it. I wasn't going to start. But then I thought to myself, man, you, you got to be fair. You got to show the process to the people out there. Some people love the process. So, so here I am, guys, showing you the process of one of my awesome small, smaller pieces. And... You know, why not, right? Let's 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 do this. Let's do this. You guys got this. So I am muy loco like this, okay? I sometimes I do very uh, realist stuff. I don't know why. It's just a, it's the crazy in me. And sometimes I do very simple stuff, minimalist. And I just you know I'm I'm all over the place. I like it. Some people don't like it. Uh, it's okay. It's not their cup of tea, but mine is. This is uh, this is very much the type of stuff that I like to do. Uh, not this in particular. Everything. <laughs> if I could, uh, if I could do different stuff. Uh, all the time. Well, what am I talking about? I actually do different stuff all the time. But but what I'm saying is, uh, if my day was longer, <laughs> I'd probably be sculpting with marble too. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What's not to love about it? You know, what is not to love about it? it to be free to to be able to to uh, to do whatever you want and. You know, liberate yourself. Liberate yourself from all these uh, anxieties of, of, I don't have uh, the right uh, imagination. Or, or, you know, all those things. You never know how strong you are until you start doing it. I used to think that I could only do this type of pieces if my canvases were larger. And I remember I used to fight with my wife and be like, "Oh, you don't understand! I can only do them, you know, all that, all that, all that crazy sentimental artist stuff." I used to do that to myself, and and after a while, uh, I started trying stuff. But I didn't start trying stuff uh, just because I started forcing myself. It's a very, it's a very uh, interesting thing that you start forcing yourself and you start. Uh, this is what happened to me, right? And I started seeing that that hey, this is not this is not true. It's just that I hadn't done it. It's it's not what I'm saying. It's not true. What I'm thinking is not true. It, it's actually very. Um, it's a lot simpler. See, I believe that the the main ingredient is time. When we believe that we can't do something. It's time. Time is the time is the thing that we go to in order to make sense of whether something can be done or cannot be done. And but the majority of human beings, the majority of us, have no idea, have no understanding. And I'm not trying to to offend anyone. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just. I'm just. Uh, I'm speaking out of out of uh, my personal experience. Uh, and when I hear people talk about time, they, they, they talk about it like that. Like, there's not enough time, you know. I talk about it like that. I mean, I just talked about it right now. I said if I had more time, I would be doing marble sculptures. That's not true. That's not necessarily true. That's, again, that's another self, another limiting belief. I, I, I still say it, you know, and I have to catch myself and, 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 and realize that that's not true. That if I'm not doing it, it's because I haven't done it. You know, and while some things do uh, require um, maybe more more attention, more time than others, uh, you never know really what you can do. You really never know what you can do until you start doing it. Once you start doing it, you realize uh, you really you really start to see what you're made of. You don't know what you're made of until you start. Until you put in this, you put yourself in this situation 
where you give yourself no out. One of the things that I started doing for myself, right? One of the very things, very first things I started doing when I started being more prolific was that I gave myself no option but to paint. I gave myself no option. I told myself, you will not leave this room until you finish this painting, you know. That's how I started. I started with, with creating one painting. Because, because most of us, I mean, I, I, I heard that, that some people are, are kind of broken on, 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 on this, uh, this idea. I've heard that Picasso created somewhere around 40,000. I read it somewhere and I, I've heard it from people, from, from videos and whatnot. Picasso created somewhere around 40 to 50,000 pieces. But then I saw another video that talked about being a prolific artist and how they talked about Picasso. Uh, and they went, they went deep into what Picasso was, right? The type of artist he was. And these guys were saying that, according to the Guinness World uh, Book of Records, uh, Picasso actually did over 147,000 and 800, 147,800 uh, works of art, original works of art. Now this includes everything, but it does not include, according to, to what I understand, it does not include um, like prints and stuff like that, like reproductions that he didn't do. No, they were talking about what he physically, with his hands, what he physically did, whether he painted on, 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 on pottery, or whether he uh, did a sculpture or, or, or you know, an etching, whatever he did, physically. It doesn't have to be a painting, because I know paintings, he, he, he didn't do as many paintings only. He, he, he was a multidisciplinary, so, so painting was, in, was uh, as actually a, a small aspect, I think, of, of the many things he did according to what I, what I understand. But anyways, what I was trying to say with this is that, is that many of us get, get um, start thinking that we can't, that we, we don't have time, you know, we don't have time. And I remember reading a quote by this cat, right, Picasso, I'm talking about Picasso. And he said, I always do things, the impossible things. That's how I get them done, you know. And when, yeah, when I first read the quote, I was like, what the hell is this guy talking about? I feel like this guy's mocking me. <laughs> Even after he's dead, he's still mocking me. <laughs> uh, and, uh, but I, 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 thought it was, I thought it was a very awesome insight. Because he, he was really trying to say, I, you know, according to, to what I got out of it, that... That he uh, he forced himself to do things that most people would be that's impossible, you know. He forced himself, and I like that. I do that on a daily basis. I force myself. Um, I don't want to paint every day. I don't. It's it's just not. It's just not what I want to do. There's days that I don't want to paint. There's uh, days that I just, I, I don't want to, you know. I want to create artwork, but there's days that I don't, I, you know, almost, almost daily, just about daily, I want to create artwork. But there's those days that I'm just like, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. Especially when I was starting out. Now I don't really have those days anymore. I don't really, I don't really have that. But when I was starting out, I had those days where I'm like, I don't know, I don't think I want to do this, you know, I don't think that... Not today, because I don't feel it. I'm not feeling the, 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 what do you call it? The inspiration. I'm, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. So, so I'm not going to do it, you know? And, but the more I, the more I train myself to just show up, to just get in the studio and start creating artwork, the more I realize that, you know what, dude? This is a mind game. This really, you really are fighting um, against your own mind. This this is a, a total mind game. You not showing up to paint 
it's not really that you don't want to, it's that you are not, you are conditioned to believe that it is difficult. You are conditioned to believe that, that you, you know, and, 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 and it's not just our conditioning, it's society, it's, uh, it could be friends and family, it's uh, our own negative, you know, self-talk. But, but I realized that I was conditioned to believe that, dude, you're killing yourself, don't paint so much. Look, there's this guys, they just create one painting and BAM! You know, they're, you know, they're, 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 they're people are like, oh, wow, 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 what a great painting. And all this uh, stuff that makes no sense in, in an artist, you know. Because before everything else, before anything else, we are artists and we are creators. We create. So many of us, uh, because, again, because of society ideas and, and what, uh, what the... Um, Galleries have told us in, in other, you know, institutions or whatever. Uh, this is not a road, okay? But it could be if you want to. <laughs> um, uh, they, they told us that, that, you know, you create one masterpiece. You know, you, you, you work, you work, you work until you create a masterpiece. And then, and then all you do is you create this, this really great pieces of artwork that go for hundreds of thousands of dollars or for tens of thousands of dollars. And that certainly, that certainly happens to some artists, but it doesn't happen to all, every single artist. And I've seen the, the stories uh, the, in history that even if it happens to some artists, some of them it only happens for, for, for some time, depending on who's carrying them. And then, you know, I've, I've had some collectors uh, purchase my artwork at very, very uh, uh, healthy, <laughs> very healthy prices. And then, and then, uh, and then that collector goes away, and then, and then, boop, then I get back to you know whatever prices I'm working on. Uh, um, that's not to say that I change the prices, but but what I'm trying to say is that I I auction my stuff on eBay, and and this happens often where I get a collector that gets extremely excited about finding me, and then they 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 buy stuff at very healthy prices and then they go away you know and 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 it's happened to me with galleries too i go to a gallery where 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 uh, where people are extremely excited and they want to buy everything and then you know so it's 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 what i'm trying to say is that there's really no point where you reach unless unless you you you've come to a point where you hit mass market and i'm not i'm not saying that you have to be a commercial artist what i'm saying is that you you somehow tapped into into uh, into a very big aspect of the market, whether it's with your artwork in in big museums or whether it's uh, your your personal uh, brand or whatever it is. But it's not um, it doesn't happen overnight, and I think that many artists have that idea. and And the reason I'm saying all of this spiel is not to to it's not to impress you. I'm not trying to be like, oh my God, look, look how hard I work and blah, blah, or, or I'm trying to, how they say sometimes, I hear these people say, I'm trying to impress upon you <laughs> that, that, uh, that don't let, don't let society, don't let other people tell you that you shouldn't be working, that you shouldn't be creating artwork, that you, that you should be getting this lofty prices right from the start and you should demand this and you should demand that. What you need to do is create artwork and start getting your artwork out there. This is one of the best advices I've heard and I read and it was from Picasso. Picasso was telling a photographer friend about that. So I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. <laughs> if I don't say it, who will guys? Come on, you know. There we go. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera, but it's got to happen sometimes in order to get this uh, uh, more detail right here, okay? Oh, I don't have a name for this yet, Mary, but, but uh, you know, I, I usually just name them when I'm, when I'm about to, to uh, list them. This one's going to go on eBay, and so I haven't, I haven't come up with a name. It's going to go on an auction, so uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe fun times in the studio. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't know. <laughs> I'll post it. I'll post it very shortly. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary. Bye-bye.